morning. So today's kind of a chill day. We are, uh, we just got done with our workouts. Nick went to the gym and I had a run. Mm -hmm. And we are going to the bakery. So we're headed north. Yeah, uh, this bakery about a 15 minute walk north of our place. Um, very nice walk. It's a crazy day. We're seeing um, all kinds of sea life today. We saw yeah. two jellyfish, a bunch of different kinds of fish, some big ones, you know, like meaty looking ones like that. They look yeah, really tasty. Huge, yeah. <laughs> The jellyfish are so cool to see. Yeah, this time they were like real up close to the seawall, so you could kind of look over and like get a really good detailed look of it. Yeah. And some of them, like they get big. Man. They Yeah, they do get big. Like they're beautiful, but I would be so scared if I saw one like while I'm swimming. So, yeah. <laughs> but apparently they're harmless from what we've heard, hopefully. But yeah, so we've been going to bakeries lately to get uh, breakfast just because it's pretty affordable. So we figured we'd show you guys some of what we get and we might get a little extra just for snacks for the day. <laughs> yeah, something to feed us throughout the day. Yeah. Bakeries are great in the Balkans because like you're paying like five euros and you get two and a half meals for each person. Exactly, it's, yeah. Uh, it's been great. It's really nice, yeah. So let's, uh, let's go find it. Hall. All acquired. Would you believe that all that plus this is only 11.7 euros? Yeah, so that's much more than what we usually spend uh, at the bakery, but we didn't just get breakfast, we got a bunch of stuff um, just so we can like have our snacks at home. You look like you're like buried in it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of the hall. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I guess we'll start with the bread. So yeah. we got... We accidentally got two of the same thing because yeah. I got one and then Rylan didn't see I got one. So she got her own as well. Yeah, so we got two of these. These just look like hollow bread. They're really good. And they're like soft, kind of sweet. So cool looking. And they have sesame seeds all over them, which is really good. A lot of mm -hmm. things here have sesame seeds. Like even the baguette, if you try and get a baguette from a grocery store, it's kind of hard to find one that's not covered in sesame seeds. Oh, but I love that. I love sesame seeds. Yeah, exactly. The, the texture of the crunch, right? Yeah, it's good. And it's like a nice nutty flavor. Yeah. Um, and then we got this pretzel. So we love pretzels. It's got something on it. I'm not really sure what it is. That might be cheese? I don't know. Yeah, here, try it. Kinda, it kind of looks cheesy. Let's see. Oh, it's sweet. I can smell it. It's kind of sweet. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Try, try a bite like here. Sure. Hmm. What is it? No, it just tastes like a... Actually, you know what's funny? That tastes more like a bagel than a pretzel. Mm-hmm. Don't you think? That's a bagel in a pretzel shape. Yeah. The texture is pretty much like a bagel. It's really no, good. No, the taste, too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so funny. Mm. I like it, yeah, though. Yeah, it's like chewy. Yeah. It's That's good. really nice. Oh, okay. Up next. We got, so Nick got these. <laughs> They're two American donuts. Classic, right? They are pretty good. They are pretty good. Yeah. And literally, like, the label on it is American donut. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and in, in uh, Serbian or Serbo Croatian, Montenegrin, or whatever the language. And one thing that Rylan noticed um, in uh, Balkan bakeries is uh, they don't serve cookies. Like like the classic yeah. like baked cookies that are kind of chewy, like a chewy and delicious. chocolate chip cookie. Like yeah, we were saying like we're really craving it because even in stores you don't really get like chewy chocolate chip cookies. Like you can get them in a package and they're like kind of crunchy, like Chips Ahoy style cookies. But yeah, yeah, like I, I it, it seems to be that the preference of cookies here is more of the hard, crunchy, crumbly type. Yeah, you know, like whereas. Buttery. Flaky. Whereas I really miss like the cookies, you know, the ones that you buy, they're that big, yeah. full of giant chocolate chunks. And, like the like, Costco cookie, the big. And it, like. it kind of like it, whenever you break it in half, it like folds a little bit before yeah. it like, and it's like gooey inside. Oh my God. I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Rylan and I have been talking about like classic American cookies yeah. for days now because we're, we're realizing how much we miss them. I know. I would make know? some, but we don't have an oven at this Airbnb. Maybe I'll look uh, up like a microwave cookie recipe. Microwave cookie. But I don't cookie. think you'll even get the result that you're looking for. I think what we should do, my some of my favorite chewy cookies in Canada is from Subway. 
You get, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like they, they have the chewy cookies there. And for some reason, maybe it's nostalgia or something, but those have always been my favorite. So maybe when we get back to Canada in <laughs> August, we uh, <laughs> we get some chocolate yeah. chunk Also, cookies. Subway has the footlong cookie now, which came out while we were here. So that would we would have tried it. Yeah, we're, so. we're missing out. <laughs> This is some things we missed, but there are other great things here that we can't get back home. So, you know, it's a give and take. For example, this here is a cherry strudel. It's a long one, longer yeah, than we've had that. before. They went crazy. Yeah, so, so good. They use tart cherries and it's really delicious. I think that's like one of my favorite desserts here. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. One thing actually that I noticed is that tart cherries are super popular here. Maybe because they're like easy to grow in the Mediterranean. But you can get like a bag of frozen tart cherries, like a big bag, for like one euro. Which is really, really, really cheap compared to in Canada where you can usually never even find a bag. Mm -hmm. um, and if you can, it's really like, it's like organic and really expensive. Same thing, I got a package of like dried tart cherries for a dollar or a euro. Um, yeah, and then like they have tart cherries in a lot of their baked goods. It must be that they just uh, grow them more locally here. Yeah. Or nearby at least. More available, you know? yeah. Yeah. But I love that. And so oh, what is that? This is something I picked. I don't know what it is. Look, kind of like a cake kind of pie thing? I think it's something similar to what I had in Serbia. Like, but it was more cake on the top. It looks like a shortbread base. And like... I'm thinking an apple filling, maybe apple walnut. Let's see. Okay. What do you think? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, like apple walnut? You think so? I don't know about walnut, but it's definitely apple. Ooh. Like apple the, cinnamon. The crust is softer than I expected. Mm -hmm. It's like not quite shortbread, it's like a little softer than that. It's like between a shortbread and a cake mm -hmm. and a puff pastry, mm -hmm. something around there. Really good sweetness to it. It's got cinnamon. Yeah, it's like an apple cinnamon filling in the middle of mm -hmm. two soft pastries. Mm, that, that is really good. That's a good one. We're going to have to fight for that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always the better picker at bakeries. All the stuff that I pick That's is true. better than what Nick picks. That's true. Sometimes we'll stop by a bakery to get some carbohydrates so that we can have more energy for the gym. And yeah. uh, she picks, every time she picks this like eight inch long like pretzel bread. It's yeah. just like oh, a so like an elliptical pretzel, right? Yeah, this bakery didn't have my pretzel bread, but yeah, yeah, the but one like, near the gym does. That's like her choice, really good. Mine has always like always picked something else, and I end up regretting it because then I just yeah. want to eat hers. So <laughs> for, now we're just both getting the pretzel bread. Last but not least, I yeah. got. Let me just open it up here. Ooh, almost dropped it. That Ooh, would be funny. Oh, it looks good. It's kind of melting in the sun, but I don't know. If you can see that there, it's kind of like, it's a cake with like a kind of pudding on top with chocolate coating. Yeah, really custard with chocolate. Yeah. It looks like an Nanaimo bar. That's kind of funny, Oh yeah. but it's definitely not. Like, Let's try a bite. Very mushy. You want to try? Mmm. Good. That's kind of Nanaimo-y, but not quite. Yeah, I figure like the custard is probably the same. Mm. Yeah. Do you That's agree? Good. Kind of Nanaimo E. Yeah, the middle layer is okay. kind of the same as a Nanaimo bar. Cool. That's really good. Yeah. So now we've got breakfast and more <laughs> for our day. True. Um, but yeah, not bad. All of that for eleven point seven euros. Most yeah. of the uh, bread stuff, like the the challah bread and the pretzel, little pieces of bread like that, were forty cents each. And then the desserts were a little more pricey, like a, mm -hmm. a one euro fifty. So, but you can you can get full off that, right? Oh yeah, yeah. And bread has like a surprisingly high amount of protein in it as well. Mm -hmm. Like, um, what is it like? Uh, a normal thick slice of bread can have, I think, eight grams of protein, or two slices. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have to double check that, but it's like it's a good amount, and so you can get a lot of nutrition. Yeah. From just eating bread. And so that's kind of what we've been doing, you know? Yeah, well, we don't always eat bread. It's nice to have bread in the house, too, because one of our, not struggle meals, but, like, one of our, you know, home-cooked meals that we've been having a lot is, like, stew. So I'll just make stew out of, like, um, 
like beef that we'll get from the supermarket with like bone in. And it's been um, so good. Yeah, so like usually like beef and like some vegetables and a broth. And so it's really nice to have bread with that and the bread is really cheap. So we try and fill up on it as much as we can. And the great thing about that, right, is because stewing beef is like the cheapest beef at the market and you can get so much of it, you just, you can fill the whole pot with stew. It lasts like two days. Yeah. And you're spending 10 euro for the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, it's very, it's a very cheap meal and it, it's like, it lasts a while. Yeah, we've been loving that. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed our bakery haul. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow.